Guys, I want to show you what the um, student dashboard looks like and everything that you would get for each different topic. So we'll just take a look at one of the hundred topics that you're going to be getting access to with the 5e lessons. We'll take a look at atoms and I'll show you uh, what that looks like. So I'm in the chemistry 5e lessons bundle. They're, they're organized by unit. Let's take a look at atoms here. So you can see if I click on atoms, I'll have all the files that are associated with atoms, all the 5e files. And we'll just go through some of these. So the first, you're going to get objective and word wall cards. So these can be used uh, to introduce a topic, to keep on your board throughout the topic. You're going to have word wall cards that come in color, non-color. Um, secondly, you're going to get uh, teacher directions and activities. This actually goes with the teacher directions and activities. And this is the engagement. So it tells you the materials needed, what the activities are going to be, some common misconceptions, and you're getting students engaged about the activity. Uh, this PowerPoint also goes with that student activity. Then you're going to be getting into the exploration phase of the 5e method. This station lab is a, is a full one day or two day activity. Students are going to be going around to each of the different stations. Uh, they're going to be going to four input stations, gathering new information on their own, and then they're going to be going to the output stations and um, showing, proving, demonstrating mastery of the particular stations, or, or of that particular concept, rather. And then you're getting into the third E in the 5E method, and you're, this is going to be a PowerPoint download. You'll be able to download that and uh, open it up, and this is going to be what you're going to use for... Um, you know, some direct teach, right? So we've got uh, some quick action steps up here when they're going to be doing stuff like cutting out an interactive notebook. Mm -hmm. But all of this stuff is going to be uh, helping you uh, clear up some common misconceptions, uh, making sure that they have the content correctly. But also throughout, they're going to be doing things that are interactive. So it's not just you giving notes to the, the class. You're going, they're going to be actually... Um, engaging with this activity as well. So we'll go back to uh, the dashboard and we've got some anchor chart ideas that you could use to make anchor charts around your room. We've got modified notes that uh, go along right with that PowerPoint. We've got interactive notebook templates that also go along with that PowerPoint for the students to put into their interactive journals along with um, along with pictures of those. We've got a, uh, a student project. This is a student choice project. This is how they're going to elaborate and um, kind of demonstrate mastery of the concept. They're already way down the line in here and, and understanding uh, this new information. So now that it's up to them to demonstrate the concept. You've got a formative assessment um, that you can use. Of course, there's answer keys also. Some of the topics have crossword puzzles. It just depends on if the vocabulary was um, sufficient enough to have a crossword puzzle. Uh, there's also a modified one with a, uh, an answer key. And then we've got a, a little homework activity that you could use, just a little half-page homework activity that you could send home and use. Now keep in mind, this is just one, one topic, atoms. You've got over a hundred different topics in each of the 5e lessons and all of the topics contain that same kind of format for each one so you're getting a load of information and it's right here at your fingertips you can download it share it with students and you're on your way hope that was helpful thanks